Hi guys, and we are on the bench here, again with the Rosen Aquila device. Um, I've been setting up the push-pull system, as you can see, using the Aquila uh, driver, the DL44, you know already, the MOSFETs, and the yoke, the 3 winds and 28 winds, the tuning on the 3 wind faster, on the bi-filler, the grenade, the, gra the grenade is in series with the 28 winds here and one of the 28 winds is straight output and one of the output leads of the grenade is also output and is in resonance with these two 630 volt capacitors 0 0.32 microfarads for resonance and that output uh, increases brightness but if you want to increase this, you have to increase this. So that's the balance. Alright? Very important. Um, had a hard time fixing this. A lot of things in the way. And um, I finally got it up and running again, as you can see. With the frequency tuner and the duty cycle. Um, this is what made it possible last time for me to have it... Um, uh, synchronize having a very very high voltage high amps output last time uh, connecting this to the test well with the two fine wires I think it's the new 4 gauge and uh, the thick winding is connected to the push pull system so it's like a Torrid, which uh, synchronizes the, the same energy within the same field, which combines them both together. Uh, I will not be connecting it now, later on. But today I managed to make it work again. Uh, That's my 12 volt power supply. We're not using it for now. Something familiar here, guys. It works. Um, the simple TL404 is broke, I have to fix it, I don't know if it's the voltage regulator or the TL404. My 24 volt power supply, mains in, 24 volts out, as you can see. Um, well, let's try it out. No pressure, only push-pull. We have here a in halogen 60 watt, incandescent 60 watt, and two microwave light bulbs, 25 watt each. Okay, disconnect this. And we're off, powering the power supply and mains. High pitch frequency coming from the yoke. Right now we'll be connect. Now we'll be turning on this time. Now I managed to put like like ten of these 60 watt bulbs, and they're like the same brightness all over. Like same brightness. It's because of the amps, but no voltage. And can that uh, halogens turn to be brighter because of the thicker filament? So if it pays a hundred watt bulb, incandescent will be lighting up just like that too. See so right now, um, I'll be placing a the connections of the microwave light bulbs. Also, as you can see right there, that's roughly almost 200 watts on amps straight from the yoke and that but this can be increased so uh, look I'll be turning out those two 25 watts are very very bright not so bright enough but what I'll do is I'll add an extra capacitor I just removed it because wanted to show you guys something so I'm gonna be adding it so when I add it you see there's 
more brightness. To show you that there is amps involved when you have it on the right tuning with the frequency, you see it arcs, gives off uh, amps. See that? My Wima caps are coming, but let's see. <sighs> okay, these are, let me see, 450 volts. Uh, 1.5 microfarad. Anyway, well, we'll be leaving it in the right tuning. As you can see, it's working. That's a lot of power, and when the tessacol is in sync with this, when the effect happens, this this becomes very bright. So. Um, this is what I want to show you guys. This is very hot. <clears throat> uh, let's say we add a 40 watt bulb to it also. See, it's it still doesn't like dip the amount of energy that is being created within this so the grenade acts like a like a super capacitor it's just in, in a series connection that's how it should be connected not the parallel with the 28 and uh, this is just simply uh, amplifying the current within this device so uh, th this is what this is the magic to mix these two but right now what's happening is only this only this that the grenade and the bifiler is giving this all right okay yeah, that's beautiful so th this is where uh, Rosina adds like 10 microfarad of 1 kilovolt capacitors, but I'm using s simple 630 volts capacitors here. Uh, there are so many of them here. Uh, I think these ones are like 1.6 kV. Um, well, that's that, guys. <clears throat> it's a lot of output on amps. Disconnecting the uh, 50 watts amount of worthy bulbs here, and look at that. That's that's very bright. Oh, don't want this to burn. Fucking hot. Woo. <clears throat> See what happens if I remove this? Look. Out of resonance. Connect it back. And you'll hear the amplitude raise. Sometimes you'll you'll see Rosalind adding some capacitors, more capacitors in the in the tree wind area. See, so it's by fighter going, going, going in series again. Tree wind and the by fighter. Yeah, you get the point. And the two eight winds go. There's one as an output. See. And the other one is just straightly connected. Oh no, yeah. This one. See? 
128 is connected straight in series with a grenade and one of them coming out is as output and one from the 28 is as output as you can see the two wires over there coming straight and that's the magic of the push pull get the thing working so that's doing well Okay guys, I think that's it. Oh, and when I pull the plug, turn it on again, wet the power on. Yep. So happy to see this work. So, uh, there you guys.